welcome to HFB School. We're really glad to have you as part of the team. This video will introduce you to our school's acceptable use policies. It's really important for us that all of our staff and our students understand what is expected of them. And these acceptable use policies help everyone stay safe and responsible in online environments. Before we go any further, one of the most important questions we need the answer to is what are AUPs? According to Common Sense Media, AUPs outline what is acceptable behaviour for users of hardware and information systems such as the internet and other networks. They're used by organisations such as schools and universities. So what is the purpose? Why do we have acceptable use policies? They are there to promote good practice and safe and responsible use of the internet. They take the form of publicly available guidelines, which is why we built the website. So these important documents can be accessed by anyone at any time, as well as be reviewed and amended regularly. So, why should we have one? Well, we all assume that while our digital native learners are experts in technology, however it's a mistake to assume that just because they're adept at using technology, they're also skilled in negotiating the minefield that digital interactions produce. Security, safety and protection for our children is paramount. Accordingly, AUPs are considered the most important documents a school will produce. Equally important are our staff as is our financial investment in the hardware and software that we've installed in the school. Research suggests that the use of technology in classrooms cultivates constructivist learning activities, as well as authentic and opportunistic learning environments. By providing clear AUPs, we hope to dispel any perceived threats to security that may hamper the integration of technology in teaching and learning, and allow for fearless and safe use of computing tools and innovative technology. So where can we find them? Because it's so important for us that everyone is safe when they're online, we've developed a website. This website includes this video along with all the acceptable use policies that we expect staff and students to know and understand. This is the HFB School Acceptable Use Policies website. We've built this website because we think it's really important that all our staff, students and parents have access to our acceptable use policies and understand what is expected of them. On this website you'll find an explanation of what we understand as a school AUPs are and why we need to have one. On here there are also the actual acceptable use policies for students and for staff. This presentation is also on here because we expect all staff who enter our school to understand what it is that is expected of them and we use this for training on an annual basis. There's also an analysis on here of what we need to do as a school to ensure that we stay current and up to date with our acceptable use policies and ensure that they are relevant for our particular school. Access to the AUPs is via the home page or the horizontal menu bar. On the page for students, both the middle and high school AUPs can be accessed either by reading them online in the embedded document or to print in hard copy by via download of either a PDF or a Word document. From the same AUP website, you can navigate to the page for the staff acceptable use policies. Currently there are two. One addresses the use of email and one is specific to the use of social media. Our recommendation is that these will be consolidated in the future. As with the student policies, these documents are available to read online and are embedded on the website, or they can be downloaded as either a PDF or a Word document. Further down on the AUP page, or again from the top menu bar, there is an explanation of AUPs. That's where you can find this presentation, along with a transcript of the most essential points that we discuss in this training video. Eventually, we would like to have lots of different kinds of videos on this website. Finally, you can find a critique. The digital world is in constant motion and we're dedicated in our pursuit of ensuring all members of our community are safe and confident. 
This document outlines our recommendations we have for improving our AUPs in the future to ensure we remain current and offer the best practices that allow us to develop a healthy digital culture. And finally, as a school, we'd like to work towards becoming a recognised digital citizenship school. This initiative by Common Sense Media supports teachers and schools in delivering outstanding lessons on digital citizenship and recognises individuals and institutions who strive to promote ethical online behaviour. As part of our ongoing professional learning, we'll seek to deliver these courses at all grade levels. We want to empower our teachers and learners to understand how to operate as responsible digital citizens. There's a scope and sequence where teachers can pick and choose lessons that are rigorous and well resourced as needed for their class. Additionally, we encourage all grade levels to complete the relevant Digital Passport online courses. Dedicated professional development time will be provided for training and support, along with the opportunity to become part of the Technical Empowerment Committee, who will assist in reviewing and updating all our policies in our effort to remain current with emerging technologies. We invite you all to visit our website and get in touch if you have any questions.